A conductor has a resistance of R, and we have a constant potential difference applied across it. So V is constant, and then we know our conductor has a resistance of, of R. And then we are, we're told the drift velocity of the charge carriers is V. Okay, so we have V. And then we, are, we want to work out a relationship between the resistance and the drift velocity. So some equations that link all of the things that we have, we know that V is equal to IR, that relates the voltage and the resistance. And to get the drift velocity in there, we know that I is equal to NA VE. We're not told anything about current in this question, so I guess we could sub this into here to get rid of the current. So we end up with V is equal to NA VE times R. We're trying to get a relationship between R and V. We have V as the subject of our proportionality. So I'm going to rearrange this equation for the drift velocity. So V is equal to the voltage divided by the charge carrier density times cross-sectional area times charge of the electron times the resistance. And a bunch of things are constant. So we know that V is constant. Uh, the charge carrier density will also be constant because the material is not changing and the charge carrier density just depends on the material. Again, the object is not changing, the conductor is not changing, so cross-sectional area remains the same. And E, which is just the charge of, or it's the elementary charge, the charge of an electron, that also is not changing. So all of these things are constant, and therefore we can say that V is proportional to 1 over R. So it is C.